What's up, everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today, I'm taking a look at one from Ballast Point out of San Diego. This is the Bonito Blonde Ale, and I apologize for any glare that might be coming through there on the camera. Um, it's actually been almost a pain in the butt trying to work with this Google setup. So this may be the last one that I shoot like this. I wanted to do more to share the screen with you guys, but Google keeps having errors pop up. It's kind of horrible service using their Hangouts ever since they took those over uh, with YouTube. So I'm going to probably go back and just shoot regular video from this point going forward. But uh, I'm going to take a look at this one. I picked it up as part of a beer run, and I think I had a six-pack. I think it was $5.99, I believe. So it was a pretty good deal, lower than what you would usually get on Ballast Point. Now, this beer, though, is actually one of the ones I think – they're talking about dropping the price. As we know, Ballast Points costs are usually up on their beers. They're going to have a few of them are going to be listed around $9.99, I believe, a six-pack. And I think this one may be it as well. It is an all-year beer, so you can get any time during the course of the year. But uh, like I said, I got on a really good deal for one of my places. But uh, you should see that in some of the spots where you get Ballast Point. And it is a, a Blondale. So let's go ahead and get it open. There's not really much on the can. I showed you the front already on the back. A little bit of information, but you can actually check that out by going to the brewery links down in the bottom of the description down there. Let's get it open and get it into a glass. See what this one has to offer. Comes in with an ABV of 4.5%, so not too heavy at all. Should be a nice, refreshing one here for the summer weather. So, like all their beers, pretty much nice clarity all the way through. Nice golden straw color. You can see some of the carbonation racing right there up to the top. Nice foamy head, came out easily two to three finger head. Now the head is starting to break down um, at a pretty good pace, so this will probably go down here in a little bit. Um, but uh, as far as what you would expect to look at of a Blondale, I would say, yeah, that's pretty much dead on. Now I do like the aroma on the IBU. It's only at a 20 IBU, but you do pick up some of the hops in the aroma. I am picking up somewhat of an earthiness in there. I'm picking up a little bit of kind of like a, a pine type scent, a little bit of a spice type scent in there, maybe a little bit of floral. So I'll have to see what kind of hops they may have used when we go to the website here, if they actually indicate that, but you're, you're kind of picking up those earthy type notes very nicely. You get some of the yeast coming out. You definitely have a breadiness factor in there as well. But overall, pretty decent smelling beer. Oh, wow, that's good. Got a good refreshing quality to it. A nice break in the taste. The taste almost resembles kind of like a little bit of a, a pineapple type sense. Not full on pineapple, but it kind of brings up an image of that in my mind as I drink this one. It also has a nice saltiness, kind of reminiscent of some of your gozas out there. And I do like uh, a little bit of that saltiness type feel. I know uh, Jerry, the beer review guy on his channel, would talk about how his dad used to enjoy lagers, and he did it himself where he would add salt to it. It almost has that kind of a feel with that nice saltiness in there. Make sure you check out Jerry's channel, too. He does some pretty good stuff, not just on beers, but he does sodas and all kinds of things with his uh, son, I believe, too. They do chips and all kinds of things. Good carbonation. I get a slight bit of a throat scraping on the back end, but it goes down overall pretty much easy in that regard. Nice light body on it. Um, as far as the texture, you have a nice, uh, pretty much semi-dry type texture, a nice crisp quality to it. Uh, a very decent beer overall. And in that taste, again, you have that salt, but you also are picking up some of that sense of that kind of uh, a pininess with it as well. So it's got a nice feel to it overall as a, as a beer. You got great notes and a taste. It's one that you can easily sit here and chug. So at four and a half percent, if you're going to chug a beer, not one to actually uh, to uh, be bad to do it with. <sighs> yeah, that's that hits the spot for sure. But let's check out their website here, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull that up here for Ballast Point. So here's their website. If you're not familiar with it, if you're out in the San Diego area, it gives you all the locations and all that kind of stuff, things from the brewery, all that kind of stuff. If you're a home brewer, you do have some good things here for home brewers. I think they actually may allow you to do some things as far as some of the recipes, maybe for cloning some of the beers and stuff. But over here on beers, they don't have it really broken down individually. So you have to scroll down, but you'll see the Bonito Blondale is the second one there, four and a half, 20 IBU. 
year-round, 12-ounce bottles, 12-ounce uh, cans, and then on draft. Gives you a slight bit of food pairings there as well. All three of those would seem to, uh, to kind of work. And here's what's on the back of the bottle you can actually see here on the website as well. I would agree the malt character, you're not really tasting the malts as much, very soft. And for a 20 IBU, like I said, you're getting a little bit of that hot presence, which is almost like unexpected at that kind of a low level. You check out the awards. They won a bronze award in the Australian um, International Beer Awards. So there you go, 2017, it got the bronze. Very nice. They make a hint of the subtle hint of hops naturally. Like I said, you do get that nice little hop feel in there. And it is subtle. It's not overpowering. It's not overwhelming in any regard. It's a nice little feel of those hops. But that, this is definitely one I would say check out. Again, it is the Ballast Point Bonito if you happen to see it out there. And again, it's going to be one of the ones I believe that's more reasonably priced. I know on one of the shows, I think we covered some of the prices coming down on some of these beers. I think this was one of the ones listed. But check it out if you get a chance. Of course, yeah, it's not going to be a craft beer, you know, based on the definition of a craft beer because they are owned by Constellation Brands. But again, if it's a good beer and it's solid and it's worth paying for, why not enjoy it, right? So you just kind of keep it separated. And again, these are the kind of beers I would just call crafty and not call full on craft. They have everything with it. But if I'm going to stay with the definition of what the Brewers Association defines, and I can't really put it as a craft beer. That all being said, cheers. Thanks for swinging by. I look forward to catching you next time. Keep drinking good craft beer, but don't miss some of the other opportunities out there.